Chaldrika Ramkisun migrated to Suriname some 50 years ago, but would often visit her relatives here in Guyana, reconnecting over the holidays with her sisters here. She was a mother of six children. She lived in Padvan, Wanika, Suriname, and had visited the capital city on Friday last to transact business at the bank. While there, she was hit by a bus and died days later in the intensive care unit. She was recorded as the second fatality of the year in Suriname. One of her daughters, Marie Arjun, told the newsroom that her mother suffered severe head injuries and was in a coma. It's only just before I lost my father. Then this month is six months since I lost my little brother. And, um, you know, she went to Guyana to make her time with her sisters just to come back to stick with her family. But we didn't expect that this would, would be the last. She just went to town to take, she take the bus and just go in town just to go to the bank to get some money. And that was it. She explained that just before her mother died, she had visited Guyana to see all the relatives. Arjun explained that after her mother left to visit the bank, they never heard from her again and later received a call from the hospital that she had been involved in an accident. Well, it's hard to explain because it's really a terrible, terrible thing for us right now that we cannot get over it. We don't know if to sleep. The, we don't know how the day is carrying us through with this, what happened. Well, for so far, the doctor, the doctor said so the accident that she had is like, she had a, um, a critical brain damage that they give her 24 hours to live. But if she pull it through and um, they say they will um, stop all the medication, they will not give her to be long in the, um, in the coma that she has to wake up by herself. But she didn't wake up because I went first and talked to the doctor Sunday morning to find out what really it is because we are not getting information, so we want to know what exactly we can expect from them. So Monday, they called us two o'clock and said that we have to reach at the hospital. And like 7.30 in the night, they say she passed away. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.